Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. So in today's video we have got the Massey Ferguson 275. So I just thought I'd do a little tractor tour video of this particular tractor. So we've obviously got a bale on the front, it's a bale of straw. It's a different video altogether what we're doing that. But this is a 275, Massey Ferguson 275. Uh, and it's a uh, 12 speed synchro as you can see off that. There's a bit of a shade on it so you can't probably see from this side very well. We'll go around this side so it's a bit clearer. 275 spell 12 speed synchro. Now, this particular tractor is quite rare. There's not many 275s about. The 265 and 2 90s were a lot more popular of the 200 series masses this is a 1986 model it is on a d plate i think just check up there d red yes so this is a 1986 so it would have been a very late model and it's what makes it even rarer is because it's got the 12 speed synchro box this is our only Massey Fergie tractor with that gearbox. My dad's had previous Masseys with that gearbox. A lot of people like them because they're very simple and the well the synchro, so you can change on the move and all you have to do is uh, dip your clutch, to change from high to low, uh, from air to toy toy. So you've had like a splitter in each gear, a bit like the 18 speed shift box, but you have to clutch and your gears are in the middle rather than on the side. The 18 speed shift is what the 390T 399 have got, which came later on. And that was all off one gear stick on the on the uh, right hand side. Well, this one's a two two wheel drive. It has got the Massey Ferguson 80 loader on it. And we have had this tractor since about it came May 2020. So we've had it four years now. I will take a photo up of it when it come. If I can find one the day it come. I forgot should I have one somewhere. It doesn't do a massive amount of work this particular tractor. Last year it did stack all of our 3,000 bales. This year we've made more. But this year and this year it hasn't stacked any silage bales. Well, I did stack a few. I think it might have stacked a few a bit earlier on, but not a great deal. 390 is most of the stacking this year. But that was because last year we put the, we had the switch around and the 390 that's got the loader on, which you see from the previous tractor tour videos, was um, on the mower last year. But anyway, this 275, they are very similar to a 265. It was originally supplied by Winston Stevenson's. Uh, yeah, there's not really much more I can say about this tractor. I'm not the biggest fan of 200 series masses. I think they were a bit too simple for what they were. 300 series, in my opinion, is a better tractor. A lot more comfier to drive, etc. A lot more... I'd rather spend a day in a, in a what's it, a Massey 390 than a 200 series tractor. My personal preference. Uh, but I'll have a look around the back. I've got three point linkage, got a drawbar, trailer tipping part that is. So it hasn't got a spool block, but it has as such. It hasn't got a spool block for working hydraulics on the back end, although you could fit one, I believe. Uh, well, it's got three spools anyway for the loader, but they're just there just for the loader on this. So one to lift it up and down, one to tilt it backwards and forwards, and one to open and close your bale squeezer. But it's got the same engine as a 265, just a little more horsepower. I think they're like six or seven horsepower more. Could be wrong. But it hasn't done, let's get inside and have a look. It hasn't done a massive amount of work this tractor. Now these camps on here, a bit like greenhouses on a day like today. It's a September day. It's really warm. Uh, you've got an old style radio there, doesn't really work to be totally honest with you. The aerial's dropped off more times than I can count. 
Uh, but these are your spools for your loader. They're on the opposite side to the 390. I think that one's up, down, that's tilting, and that's your third service. Your PTO's down here. And you've got the handbrake as well. So have a look at the dashboard. Very simple design, these tractors. So that's your hour clock. This tractor's only done 3,600 hours. When, when we bought it four years ago, it had actually got less than 3,000 hours on the clock. So it's rarity that it's only done that amount of work. Uh, it's like our backup loader tractor, this. It'll get used if the 265 we've got will loader breaks down or something comes over it. This one will get used more. These are your side windows, very simple. Not very, not very, uh, you know, not very much to go wrong with them. Your hydraulics up and down here, your draft control. That locks your hydraulics so you can double your hydraulic flow, I think. And then you've also back to the dashboard, your temperature gauge, your fuel gauge, and that's basically it with your dashboard. Your light switch, indicators, your left, your right. And then you, you press that button there in the middle for the hazards. And then this is your 12 speed synchro box, so it's worn a little bit there. But that's reverse. It's currently in second, and then first. And then third is down here as well. So you can put clutch out. That's reverse. It's first, second, third. And then you had an extra, this was your splitter. And then that's your high and low. So you got so that's currently in that's two toy toys uh high range. And you can drop down to that, just dip your clutch and flip up and down. So it it, it did make them a lot faster tractor to be honest. And like geared them up, the 12 speed got because the two six fives had eight speed box. And you got an extra few gears on this, so it made it a little bit, a little bit nippier. But yeah, not much more. What have we got up here? Lights, windscreen wiper. That's a fan. Change from hot to cold. Then that. That's just a little bit of air circulation. That was where you. That's about rushing through there. That's for your fan to blow through up there. Little sun visor, not to say that really does much to be told, to be honest with you. But yeah. Oh, and then the fuses are in that little box down there. On your seat down here, you've got hair and toy toy, so you could speed your hydraulics up, slow them down. But yeah, and that's your obviously your clutch, your brake, your throttle. And you have two, you got your mirrors, obviously, and your doors. But oh, and then your diff locks down here as well. Sorry, the cab's a bit mucky. We don't. It's obviously a working tractor, this. So ah, but oh, and then you got your speaker there for radio. But all around, it does what it says on the tin with this tractor. The previous owner of this tractor was on a cousin of my dad's. Uh, he's actually dead now. But he had it from second hand. He bought it second hand. And he bought it from a farm not far from him. And I think they'd swapped it for a 375. So they, they had it new. Then they swapped it for a 375. And then my dad's cousin bought it. And I'd say... The early 90s, I think, something like that. So it was probably only like five or six year old when he bought it. And then we obviously bought it in 2020, four years ago. It's good for what it does, this particular tractor. The very simple, very simple indeed. Uh, but yeah. Just thought I'd give you a quick walk, you know, like a nice little walk around video, a tractor tour. Oh, and you got your sunroof up here as well. So, windows on each side and your doors. But, um, 
the 200 series masses come out 1979 and they come out with just a 240 and a 265 i think at the time and then they bought a 290 out and then later on they bought uh, like a year or two later they bought a 275 a 250 and a 298 as well and then 1986 so seven years after they were launched they got replaced with a 300 series which in my own opinion the better tractor um, I'd much rather drive a 300 series and a 200 series my own personal preference but yeah this is the 275 for you so just have another quick walk around the outside one thing I will just point out these front tyres weren't standard we've added them on just because of the weight of the front loader with lifting bales I think a front a bigger front tyre will stand the what you're obviously going to stand the weight better than a smaller front tyre so I think they're 10 they're 10 16s front tyre so they're the same as what our two-wheel drive 390s got on but yeah it's a good tractor for what it is it's quite a rare tractor you know for what it is so that's the overview of it rare massey ferguson 275 you don't i don't see many of these tractors about i've only seen a couple ever advertised for sale maybe because i'm not actually looking but you know they do pop up from time to time but not very regularly and this is the only one i've actually ever seen with a 12 speed synchro gearbox which obviously makes them even rarer this one uh, but yeah all around this is a good tractor been really reliable and yeah if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe below thank you for watching